Hey guys, so this is my first time smoking fish and I made a little how-to video of uh, how I did it. You know, I, I'm not an expert at it and there's definitely some mix-ups that I had, but follow me and uh, learn from uh, some of my successes and some of my failures. So you can find more information about what I did on my blog, which will be linked below, but this is how you make your brine solution. Your brine solution is a, a salted solution that is made to add flavor to your smoked fish. Uh, traditionally, it had a lot of salt and they're used for um, preservation techniques but now so the the brine's a little bit less salty and uh, that's because we have refrigerators so people rely less on smoking as a method of food preservation and more as a form of cooking so these are all the ingredients and all the utensils you need to make your brine solution and I recommend definitely using a mixing bowl that has a spout or some, side, uh, some sort of ladle to uh, apply your brine to your fillets because I will show you that I poured some on the floor right there. So after you put your brine with your fillets, you want to massage it a little bit to make sure that all surfaces are sort of equally covered. Place it in your refrigerator. I did it you know, for about 18 hours because it's uh, the next day when I started my smoking process. But uh, you could do so in 12 to 24 hours. So um, yeah, this is uh, the start of the smoking process. I like to use apple wood chips because they're a lot less uh, intense. So you, you taste the flavor of the fish. The Wi-Fi grill thermometers were almost essential for cooking this fish and smoking. Uh, you could have a great way of reading the internal temperature of your smoker unit as well as making sure that your fillets are safe to eat by uh, making sure they're at 145 to 160 degrees internal temperature for sustained 30 minutes. And uh, that, that was a, a great tool for, for this whole process. So you want to take your fillets out of the bag, pat them down with a paper towel, um, and place them on your smoking rack. I would grease the smoking rack in the future. But after you place them on there, you let them sit for about an hour to get this thin form of protein, a uh, thin protein coat on them called a pellicle, which aids in that smoke absorption. So during this hour time, you want to preheat your smoker unit. And uh, I, I heated mine for about 45 minutes or so to get the chips smoking and rolling. Some people will increase the te temperature of their unit and then decrease it when they put their fish in there. I made this supplementary uh, bowl of chips, which was great. Uh, until the fish started to cook and the moisture started to drip in the bowl and really killed the smoke. But that bowl was in the middle of my unit which blocked the air intake a little bit by accident. And uh, I found that it aided in helping me uh, maintain those lower 175 to 250 degree temperatures that you really aim for when smoking fish. So that was, that was a little tip that I did. In the future I'm definitely going to cover that bowl. Uh, the top of it so it, it doesn't actually um, stop smoking when it when the fish drips in there. So during this process I had to basically repack my smoker unit about three times. That's a you know about three hours or so of smoke. My product was done in about an hour and a half to two hours but uh, I found on the internet that some people said that 30 minutes per pound of fish was a good rule of thumb for uh, smoking times which gave it a great flavor. So the top unit, the top uh, rack of my smoking basket was actually a little bit drier than my bottom, which I, I found out that I liked a little bit more because it made it more of a fish jerky, which was a great everyday kind of snack when you take it out of the refrigerator. Um, and the bottom was more moist, which was also great because uh, you know you, you didn't want to eat something that's dry, but um, it, it was good when I incorporated it into different fish, uh, smoked fish recipes like smoked fish dip that I, I made. Um, so this is a, again, you know, where you can see that using some sort of grease or cooking spray on the rack would aid in uh, getting them off uh, the wires. But it was okay because I needed those fish parts, uh, those fish bits to make my smoked fish dip. So that's my finished product. Like I said, read more on my blog that will be below. Um, ask me any questions and it turned out great. I'll definitely be smoking again in the future.